1729 forecast. Well, the only weather hazard on this Thursday will be a sunburn. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. Looking outside live from downtown Troublesville, not a cloud in the sky at this vantage point looking off to the northwest towards the Blue Ridge Mountains. Now this time of the year, the sun angle is just as strong as it is in early August, and it has to do with the sun angle when it comes to that uh, sunburn index, not the temperature. So on days like this, you can get a nasty sunburn in a matter of about 20 minutes or less in that midday sun. Now, 48 hours ago, we were tracking severe thunderstorms developing and sure enough the National Weather Service was out there. They did their survey and they came back with an official tornado, a uh, 90 mile per hour tornado with a path of six miles. It started at uh, Fishersville at uh, Barterbrook Road. It crossed over I-64. This was just after one o'clock on uh, Tuesday afternoon and it moved into the city of Waynesboro and then dissipated at uh, Wayne Ridge Road. And thankfully, as we heard from Rachel Hersheim in her report, uh, no reports of injuries, but uh, that is an EF1. What does that mean? Well, it has winds of up to uh, 110 miles per hour between 86 and 110 miles per hour. That tornado had winds estimated of 90 miles per hour in Fishersville and into the city of Waynesboro. Now the EF scale stands for Fujita. That is Dr. Ted Fujita. He came up with this damage scale. He was a, a research scientist when it comes to tornadoes. In uh, 1971, this scale was introduced and uh, he was a, a research meteorologist over at uh, the Univers University of Chicago. And this scale goes from zero to five. Zero is the weakest, five being the strongest. EF5 tornadoes have winds in excess of uh, 200 miles per hour. And there's the damage. Eric Pritchett, meteorologist, was at the uh, survey as well on ground and on the scene, and he took the snapshots of the damage in Fishersville showing this piece of roof just wrapped around this tree with those 90 mile an hour winds. And thankfully, the weather pattern is quiet today. You know, in the span of a week, we've had snow, more, a little more than a week ago in the valley. Then we had 90 degree heat on Saturday and Sunday, and now we've had a tornado in the span of uh, about a week or so. So with, thankfully we're seeing calmer conditions. Temperatures are in the 40s and 50s. We are seeing lots of clear skies and blue skies up above, and there's a weather disturbance off to the west across the Missouri and Mississippi Valley. It'll give us a few clouds overnight, but it doesn't look like anything in the way of rainfall. Our next best chance for a shower and thunder shower will be on Sunday. Your forecast for today. Highs in the 60s, sunshine with a north breeze, a refreshing atmosphere. As we go into tonight, there could be some patchy frost, especially north and east of Charlottesville with a clearer sky. Now to the south and west, there'll be extra clouds and the temperature will be about be a bit about uh, five degrees higher than freezing. So I'm not expecting widespread frost or freeze, but those of you in Culpeper to Standardsville, Harrisonburg, over to Louisa, protect those tender plants and those flowers. Highs tomorrow back in the 60s, uh, sunshine, especially north North and east, more clouds in the south and west, but a, a dry day, fantastic for Fridays after five, will drop from the 60s into the 50s in Charlottesville after sunset tomorrow night. And then Saturday on your seven day forecast will be fine for the Foxfield races. Uh, temperatures in the lower 70s, a blend of clouds and sun. Shower thunder shower chance on Sunday, highs near 70, and the warmer and dry Monday, low 80s. We'll watch uh, Tuesday, CJ. That could be the next active weather day. All right, thank you.